Well, the state has created a new position hoping to protect your privacy. Today, the state auditor announcing a state privacy officer will oversee how the government is handling this sensitive information. New specialist Matt Rascone in Salt Lake City tonight with more. Matt? Now, the state created a privacy oversight commission earlier this year. Now, this new position, the state privacy officer, will oversee how the cities and counties we live in and the schools we send our kids to use our personal information. Overall, citizens are more concerned about privacy. With so much sensitive information going around, privacy is becoming more of a priority in the state. What are the appropriate bounds that should be in place to protect citizens' privacy? In 2019, tech firm Banjo was awarded a contract with the state, but the deal fell apart. This was a contract that the state had with a private company, and there was concerns about the amount of sensitive information that that company might have access to. State Auditor John Dougal's office found the company did not improperly use personal information, but that didn't stop the state from making changes. We hear breaches of sensitive information in the private sector and the government sector and all sorts of activities like that, and so I think it's critical that Utah have folks like this whose focus is helping governments understand what the risks are. Today, the state auditor announced Dr. Whitney Phillips will fill the newly created position of state privacy officer. I wanted somebody who understood the importance of privacy, protecting the sensitive information of our citizens. Dr. Phillips will focus on schools, cities, and counties, and how they handle our personal information. Folks talk about facial recognition software. And so what kind of data is being collected and analyzed by governments today. As state privacy officer, she'll look at practices that put our information at risk and offer training aimed at protecting privacy. Dr. Phillips starts at the end of the month. State Auditor Dougal encouraged anyone who has concerns right now about how the government is using their personal information to reach out to his office. Matt Rascoe, KSL 5 News. All right, interesting, Matt. Thank you.